Oh, go figure. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? Just look at it. <laughs> Just look at it. Yeah, well. What the heck is that? <laughs> Hi, guys. It's Yvonne from Ginger Chick Rehab. Thank you for popping on and checking out what I am up to. Today is an auction haul. I am so glad that you're checking this out. So, in today's video, we drove an hour and a half hour, hour and 15 minutes away to go to an auction. Luckily it was in a pole barn. It was semi-heated. They tried. It was still pretty cold. So I can't wait to share with you. I got something off my bucket list that I have been searching for. And then at the end of the auction, I'm going to throw in another little auction haul only because one of the auctions we went to on New Year's Day, we forgot an item and we had to go back and they actually, that auction house actually has an every Friday night auction. So we drove at a six p.m. an hour and 15 minutes away and we're like hey we drove this way to get that other piece so we might as well stay for their auction so there's a few little goodies at the ends but there's lots of treasures in this haul. So not every auction is a big auction. You're not going to come home with a ton of stuff or they don't have a ton of stuff or you get outbid. I'm definitely learning that over this voyage but here are some of the items that we did get and this auction is one where you buy the auctioneer will do, okay, well, this box full, and then you have to buy this other box at the same time just to get rid of <laughs> to get rid of stuff and make the auction move along. So a lot of it is because I wanted one item and <laughs> um, yeah, and <laughs> yeah, so there's that. <laughs> so yeah, then you ended up buying items that you normally did not want. So like all this Easter stuff here, y'all. All this Easter stuff. <laughs> so it necessarily wasn't what I wanted. Um, how I, okay, here it is. That's that's what I was. I was actually going for these beautiful heavy glass hearts. And I thought this is perfect for Valentine's Day in my booth to put a little red, whether they sell or not. I just thought it would be nice. And it was like minimal to couple bucks I think um, this one's got a little bit of scrapage but that's okay because it's gorgeous this is a little hand painted one. Oh, that might even look at Jenny 99 I don't know that was interesting it reminds me of Fenton because it was hand painted but I'm sure that's I don't know I'm not the case and then this beautiful heart I just thought those would be nice to put in the booth and then this is just a bag of trinkets um, yeah, little shelf sitters, I guess, or somebody might have had a tree, or they were a crafter, and then all this Easter, all this Easter stuff, and there's some cuteness in here, there's some cuteness, you know, I might put a lot together of all these little bunnies, if, you know, a lot of people do like bunnies, you know, especially to set around for Easter, I, I really liked, you know, I'm a neutral girl, so I really liked these, um, got a whole bunch of egg cups. Um, funny, I was looking for some. This one is chipped, sadly. And then they maybe they had an Easter tree, because look at this is beautiful. And then here's another glass. Beautiful little bulb. Um, looks like that's been broken, but there's still one side to hang it on. Got another little hand-painted bulb. This is a little cutie. Oh my goodness. I, I mean, it's not terribly vintage, I don't think. Um, this almost with the coloring reminds me of Lennox, but it's a beautiful, it's not, I don't see any signature, but it's a beautiful, heavy egg. It's a beautiful, heavy egg. And then you got cute little pieces like this, another little, um, another little egg. This poor little egg did not make it. Whether, yeah, I don't know. I, I didn't even look in this box. I was looking at the heart, so I don't can't tell if it was broken or not. And this is another beautiful egg. I always think these wreaths are nice. I used to have one. I always put it on my front porch. This reminds me of Boyd's Bears, um, though I don't see. Um, let me see. Let's Berkeley Design. So nope, it's not a Boyd's Bear. I don't think. But it is a cute little bunny. Just look at his face. And soft, soft. Now I did think this one, oh, look at this little trinket box. It is a little trinket box. Let me see if I can open it up one-handed. Yeah, isn't he cute? So as I said, I probably will put a lot together for y'all if anybody's interested. 
for these Easter items. I'm sorry, I had to turn the heat on in our shop. It was too cold to do this in our garage today. Um, so yeah, this was a pretty piece. Just, yeah, I mean, here's another little larger egg cup with a, I, I just put this one in there, but yeah. So if anybody's interested, I'll probably go ahead and pop on. Um, yeah, that's a cute, beautiful egg plate. You can, you know what? The one thing, if you're going to a potluck and you don't know what to make and you have eggs, do deviled eggs. Oh my gosh, deviled eggs are something like it seems like almost everybody eats, y'all. So if at the last minute I forgot I was supposed to bring something, deviled eggs, because we always have eggs. So it's nice to have beautiful little egg plates like that. Oh my gosh, yes. So yeah, if you're ever, I don't, give me a story. Do you guys make deviled eggs? Not just for Easter or the holidays, but even just for potlucks. So then we'll move down to this box. Now this box, I think it was a dollar, but look at these cute little ants. Oh my gosh, they're little, they're little butts or bells. Look at that, little booty butts. So for a dollar, I thought, oh my gosh, those are too cute. Um, got an old, this is like a hose. Just some odds and ends, but it was really these little ants that were cute. There's a little birdhouse knob. Um, this is just a leather, like, um, sunglass holder. So, yeah. Now these, um, I got a box of some metals, so this was a little birdie. Now these are newer pieces, so this is a little birdie um, doorstop. And then we have... A heavy star and I love that it had a hanger on it so you could put it you know of course I'd like to paint a black you, you know how I am y'all um, I thought this little Scotty dog it's wooden definitely looks vintage it's older little towel rack oh my gosh is that not too cute I almost want to say those are Scotty dogs and then like maybe kitties on the side what do y'all what do y'all think I, I'm not really sure but I thought well, that, uh, that's a unique piece. That, and it came in with this metal box. And then the other two pieces, I think, were these little hangers. And these are just nice little hangers um, for your candles. So I could put one of a Pitberry wreath on there. I could put one of those battery-operated candles to get it to sell. Here, there we go. We can see a little bit better. But I know this is a classic, classic. So if you're in your decorating... Um, Mid-century modern, primitive, a farmhouse, however you'd like to call your decoration type. Um, yeah, these little hangers are just black and neutral. The next three boxes, <laughs> I, I actually wanted this little jadeite um, stamping Scotty dog. And I've actually sold this one a couple times on eBay. So I wanted that. But I had to buy this box, this box, and this box. <laughs> to get this box so I think I think it was two unfortunately it was like two dollars a piece I don't mind these little swans I think these are little maybe salt dip swans I thought they were very pretty so I could do a lot of those these are some fun little red um, shot glasses liqueur liqueur I'm not a drinker y'all sorry um anyway they were those and then there's some older shakers in here what does that one say this this one's heavier it's almost like a crystal type so i don't know what that says indiana um yeah so there's some salt shakers um these don't feel like anything i thought this actually i might hoard on to this because how many times do you see a little train or a little sugar dish and it has a little spot that you could put a little spoon. So I could see where this person was thinking <laughs> that not to pass up these little spoons. Um, yeah, I think there was like, yeah, we got a green depression glass piece in here. I thought I saw a pink depression glass piece. But if you had something that you're looking for a little ladle spoon, so I might hoard on to them as a reseller. Um, yeah. So then my next, my next grouping was all, the, all this. Uh, well, this was separate. So I was looking at these beautiful, this, there was a whole display of somebody collected old baking powder tins. Oh my gosh, is that a black and white, y'all? That just caught my eye. 
And then there was this one. Oh, oh my goodness. And then we had this older one. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a ton of wordage left. Um, but it does have on the top. Look at that beautiful. Um, then there was this one. Look at the... I just love that in the tin. There's something about advertisement and old wording. And then funny story, these new aged <laughs> ones. Look at y'all. This is fall full. <laughs> this is a brand new... And... Um, yeah, don't don't use it. Don't use it. I think uh, at the auction house we were at, the people said, uh, that's not even open anymore, which are... <laughs> and then, what was this? This one's dated. Um, these these are empty. These are empty. But this one was a full one. That was Now, that's too funny. And then there was this other little um, tin. I just love the aging of it and then somebody's homemade job and make it into a shaker i'm not sure i'm not sure why you would make a baking powder into a shaker tin not sure powdered sugar yes but bake i don't i don't know and then then they had this little mustard seed which i love the the story of the bible the mustard seed so anyway i i probably hold on to that because that would be a Good craft project and you could redo these but they're not um tin they are cardboard and a lot of times sometimes when you get that cardboard wet it does not hold up and then i did bid on this one separately i just absolutely loved this one there there was three shelves and i was trying not to be greedy to um you know i knew i knew i really wanted what represented who i was and then I did bid on this cast iron kitty. Oh, is he not too sweet, y'all? Yeah, he is. Luckily, he wasn't solid, you know, or had a bottom, so it made him a little bit not as much. But I thought, oh, cast iron kitty. Okay, I love him. And then I think this, uh, one of the, something I bought, I uh, ended up getting these toys. <laughs> it was an extra box. You had to buy the toys, or the toys weren't selling, and they threw in these toys oh i remember yeah it was this it was these old money bags um that they weren't selling the toys and then nobody was buying on the money bags and of course hello this is my color so i'm like okay for a dollar i will have fabric for a dollar that i can hoard on and use one so and the toys came with it on this old timey sign baking i love that i love that now, if they were saying it was vintage and old, but I don't know, y'all. Uh, to me, that kind of looks like a reproduction to me. Um, you know, they're really good at these reproductions. So, But still still a cool old sign to sit on a shelf or put on your wall or what have you. Especially, you know, the grouping with those other tins. And then, it's funny, um, they had some beautiful weather vanes there, y'all. And I wanted to get some to resell, but they were in the 100, 200. <laughs> they were copper. They were gorgeous. So, And I've actually seen this guy <laughs> a, a lot of times, a lot of times at auctions and never could get my hands on one of them. Now, I was told that it was sold at an art van by another antique dealer that has a couple. Um, so, yeah, I ended up getting my hands on it. I did pay up at 35 I think but they had gone into the 70s and hundreds and the other auctions that I had to pass them up on so I was like okay I was almost at my limit and going okay and if I paid too much it was going to be part of my own decor so luckily luckily this cute little pig oh I don't know he's got some oh it's just it just probably dust from our, dust from our shop imagine that and then oh my gosh when I saw this was this was almost this piece, y'all, was almost like the Dundee jar, the marmalade jar. I wanted one. It's been on my bucket list, mental bucket list, of things I'd like to find at an auction. And yes, I myself have wanted one of these spritzer bottles just for my own decor. I don't know why. I don't know why. And then they don't come up. They, you just, they don't come up. I very seldom see them. I see just very few in an antique store. And it's funny because Chris said, Hey, I looked for one of those at Christmas for you for a Christmas present, and he couldn't find one, y'all, at all. 
because I don't want the one that has the wire. There's a one that has a wire case. I want to see that aged glass. This one still actually has liquid in it, so I'll see if I can... Would you all say denture? Denture tablets? So I'll, I'm going to give that a try for this one because I really want to see those old bubbles. And I love that. I love this. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I love it. It is super heavy. I don't know how... Sel the seltzer bottles, is that what these were? But... Ever since I saw Jamie Ray Vintage have some on her channel back in the day, I'm like, oh, I want some of those. So, bucket list fine right next to my marble jar. Oh, maybe it should go together. So then I had to switch sides here. So this came with some boxes. This is a little old sew sewing bucket. Um, i probably make this one over maybe. I don't know if they sell extremely well. Do you put your yarn? Oh, do you put your yarn through that? That's adorable. Oh, so I may make this one over because it's little. I actually, someone bought buckets, baskets. You know, they do they do sell slowly, but they eventually will sell if I want to spend the time. And then I'm, huh, I bought this one box for a couple bucks for these pieces. I thought they were gorgeous. I picked up that piece, and then I was looking at that piece. And then when I got it, this piece home, I'm like, oh, crud, I can see through that. <laughs> so that was a bummer. Oh, we've been sending stuff to a local auction house that does an auction at the end of the month. So I might just re-see if somebody else is interested in that way. Now, this is a cute little sugar holder. Look at the little Scotty dog. You could put, your if you're like those packet sugar people or some candy or I don't know some flowers oh my gosh he's he is so cute what did they say candy container I, I'm not an open candy person so I would probably have done those little packets but he's he's sweet and then in the same box were these little baby um, cups and then this little shelf set little self set or musical edge dog he is sweet I wish he didn't have the shoe on and then his music box, I don't know if he plays or because we have to get a pair of pliers to see if I can get him to play or not. So we'll, we'll see how that Interesting. goes. Interesting. I guess I could. Um, this probably won't come off because it's manufactured on there. $19.99. I don't know if anybody would be interested. I kind of like that. Oh, this is not the regular, regular lid. Um. So it'd be a decor piece. I, I don't know. I don't know what to do with it right off the hand. I know I could paint it up, but, you know, uh, the crackeries and painting, um, they sold at first, and then they kind of just slowed down. So I don't want to spend time. I don't mind sharing the process with you all, but I don't like, unfortunately, y'all, I don't like to get stuck with stuff that I can't resell or nobody wants, and that's not an original lid. So, yeah, it happens. I did actually pick up a set, this whole stacking of these, these little stereo viewfinders. Oh, that one's really pretty and unique. Uh, but <laughs> and the funny thing is I had already sold those ones that I just picked up at an, another auction. Um, so I'll probably just maybe hoard onto these if I find another one or sell these on eBay as is. I bought a box of shoe stuff because I thought there was more than one of these in there. I love I love to add these into my own decor for a pop of wood, for some advertisement. Love these old shoe brushes to stick a picture, a postcard, memorabilia in there. Um, I, these are always a little awkward because I don't really know what to do with them other than hang on them well, off This something. is the box that it came in. A whole bunch of shoe stuff. And I will go through it, but I can't tell you that this is stuff that would normally, well, normally on a daily basis sell. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Now this grouping um, was a some knobs, but these knobs are actually broken. They should be attached to these little metal pieces, and you know I love knobs. Now the hard thing when they're clear, and these are plastic, is if sometimes when you go to put glue in there, and the glue in here, it gets a cloudy residue, even if the glue is clear. So I probably, for, I think I paid minimal 
um, for this. So I'll probably just hoard on to those. So because it looks like every single one of these is kind of broken. But for a couple bucks, this cast these cast iron pieces were worth it. But the knobs, yeah, see this one is probably to that one that's broken off. And anyway. And then this was with this was with it. It was just a it's cute. It's, a, it's very cute. Needs tightened. It definitely needs tightened. We that's what we do. If we can't get it tightened because the nut is screwed in, we'll we'll fix it and glue it down the way it needs to be. Bit on these though, of course I wish it was a salt and pepper, but it was too salt. And it looks I think that's an anchor hawking mark on the bottom of these. So I'll pop these on eBay. They're definitely newer, but just some nice jadeite pieces. The box of fabric were these finials. Of course, three. Can't be four, right? Can't be four. <laughs> but you can, if a round object, you can still use them as legs. And then this little piece of wood was in something also. And then actually this was not at the auction. We actually stopped at a local antique mall on our way out of town. Or it was a store. And I found this beauty reasonable enough that I could sell it to y'all on eBay. That was weird. <laughs> Everything else was, I couldn't touch, but that, for whatever reason, so if anybody's looking for a rusty, crusty egg scale, I absolutely love mine. Okay, so we're winding down here, y'all. So now these, oh my gosh, these beauties. So, and then that tin. So actually there was four. There was a red plaid one, and you had to buy all of them. <laughs> so, yeah, so it would have been what what I paid times four, and I had a dollar amount because I'd already looked up on eBay how much they were going for that I could, and so I did bring them home with me. I just absolutely love that plaid. What what a beautiful decor piece, mid mo mid century modern M C M decor. I, the red one actually a gentleman wanted and bought it off for me for what I was going to sell it on eBay. Well, well I don't have to do any work. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah, he didn't want to buy all four. He just wanted the red one. And this, this needs cleaned up, but I think this will clean up beautifully. Beautifully. And I sold my last one that I picked up on eBay. These are just nice little bread. Sto extra storage in your kitchen. Beautiful decor pieces. Beautiful tins. I love the wood little picnic basket handles on these pieces, too. Look at this beauty. I am attracted to black. Your eye just likes what your eye like. And this is one of those railroad lanterns. Um, Chris actually bid on this one. And, you know, like I said, you get a dollar amount of what you know that you want are going to sell it for. Because all of us there are doing our research um, and know our clientele. So, yeah, this was... I just, in great shape. Underneath here is a couple boxes. I got these for a couple bucks. You can't go wrong with some boxes, can y'all? You can almost see the wording, but especially having an outdoor booth. And I might get a second outdoor booth <laughs> come the spring at where our original um, our original booths are. And then this is just a nice one. This is nice, just a nice little box. This is one actually I could do my own wording on. So that was fun. And then look at this piece. <laughs> now, funny thing is, I, y'all, I stopped. Let me turn it around. Now, I stopped bidding at this at 15. And I don't know how auctions go in your area, but the next thing I know, they're like, yep, 25, six, you know, screamed out her number of 68. I'm like, uh, I was done bidding. I shook my head, no. And Chris is like, I know you did. And I'm like, He's like, well, do you want me to read? I'm like, no, it's fine. Maybe it was a God Week moment I was supposed to have it, but I didn't want to spend that much <laughs> on it because I don't know anything about this little enamelware, kids. Oh, my gosh, it is too cute. It is too cute. Look at that date. Somebody got this for a Christmas present back in 1934. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah, I didn't want to have to... You know, your goal as a reseller is to at least double, if not triple, your money back. It's not a piece I'd make over, so that's the nice thing about it. But, I'm like, eh, you know, that's happened to me a time or two that I get lost in the moment of the 
auction and I'm not even really sure where the ending price is until we get our bill. I, anyway. Okay, so this was Chris's haul. And yep, we stayed to the end of the auction. The tools were at the end. Um, I need to get him to slow down and actually show you how he makes over tools. A lot of times he's good at showing the process, but then he's good at showing when he's done so he doesn't necessarily show what it looked like before or he gets because over here is his whole little workstation y'all his little p oh 50 his solution that he cleans them up he's got a grinding disc over here where he takes the metal and grinds the rust off of so like he took oh let me take this big heavy thing over but but so the, recently, he just took this big, a rusty, ucky piece like this and then cleaned it up enough to look like that. And like I said, I just need to get him to slow down because he just gets working on things and he... he oh, I get that. I totally get that because I know that I'm constantly... I'm like, oh, did I turn my camera on? Gotta love... Anything with advertising does pretty well. Um, so that's what he's looking for. He wanted this, these old locks. And then, um, I don't know if they had the key. I don't think they had the key. But then these other all locks came with it. This came with the boxes. I don't know why. And then he got an old vice. Those are items that sell. He did buy some coinage. He likes to pick up coinage. Um, either to hold on to it and let it age more or to resell. Some hook the hooks came with oops. The hooks came with the uh, pulleys. And then this is a little measuring tape, some little vintage measuring tapes. And then I did actually, of course, hello, a glass knob. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all know that I bit at those. And then so other other things went with it. Our New Year's Day auction. Um, these are some of the finds that we had to go back because on New Year's Day, we actually bought this Mickey Mouse Disney <laughs> print. Um it had to go back and take the hour and 15 minutes to go back to an auction house that has an every Friday auction. Um, then the last of the month, I think it's a Sunday auction and they skipped the Friday. But yes, we bought this. And so we got to go to one of their Friday um, auctions. So yeah, so anyway, so let me share other than the, the Disney print that we had to go back for. <laughs> Um, we've never sold one of those before, so we'll see how that goes. Chris bought a lot of um, old trucks. <laughs> yeah. Um, he wanted the metal ones. I think he got the lot for $5. We stayed to the end, and it made a late night because the auction didn't start till 6. And it, uh, like I said, it's an hour and 15 minutes from our house. <laughs> but, you know, at the end of the auction it's where you get the deals. So, yes, I got this cute little cast iron bird bath, I think, for three bucks. I got a star. Look at that cute star for five bucks. Because um, he kind of insult. They don't really, they really wanted to not go under five dollars if they could. Because it's a consignment auction. Now, this piece is funny. This is a God wink moment. If you follow my channel, you know that I actually made one of these little cubbies. Um, added pieces of one by, I think it's one by, to the front of one. And it sat there for a while and it was nice to put decor in my booth. And it actually just sold it this week when I'm showing you this video. Or it actually just sold. Um, so actually all the mother decor that I had in it was just sitting around my booth. So look at that little Godwink moment. I picked up another shelf. I'm not going to paint it because I need it. <laughs> I need it in my booth. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. Funny, funny little stories. Um, yeah, people had left. The glass here was going really cheap. I got this one swung base for $5. It does have, like you can feel like a scrapage there so I don't know if that was manufactured or somehow it got scraped that's kind of kind of odd but I don't know and then I opted <laughs> I won a bid on a lot that you could do the 
whole cabinet, pick a, pick a box off the cabinet, and I was going for the doorknobs, and then I rerouted to these perfume bottles. I've seen these go, go at auction, so I thought, well, you know, for my $5 investment, I probably should go for something that I'm not just going to make over and sit around, and we have a lot of hardware. So it was all these, and then these little bottles were with it, and they were actually in this juicer. There you go, this just a clear bottle. And then a lady had got rid of her crafts. So there was all this natural unfinished wood. There was like two tables and two shelving units full of natural. So I picked up the caddy. I picked up this little cubby box. This little box reminded me of one of those vintage salt boxes. So this will be fun. Um, and then these two pieces. And by this time you've seen the video where I painted... Um, two of these that I got from the same auction house, that black with that gold, which I absolutely love, makes it look vintage. Oh my gosh, so two more of them. I'm going to go ahead and grab those. My last two pieces, yes, <laughs> an unfinished bench. <laughs> I said she had unfinished pieces, so I bought the biggest two pieces she had. And then she had this little chimney cabinet. Now this, this went cheaper because it is... It's been dropped, but you know, it's ginger chick rehab and that's what we do is fix stuff. So happy to get that. So that is what we had to return to an auction house because we forgot something, but it ended up being, being a good auction. Okay, thank you all for watching. Remember to go out and check out my eBay store if you're interested in buying anything. And as always, if you saw something that you might like and it's not in eBay, either it's already sold or you can email me, I can tell you if it's sold, or I just hadn't popped it on eBay yet. So thanks again for watching, guys, and as always, I love you all. Thank you for being part of our YouTube family. We just have amazing, amazing YouTube family. So thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you next time, and you can see what we're up to. Bye!